Hi, everyone. Mike Fignola here from Emergence Audio, and I'm very excited to share our latest creation with you, Clarinet Textures. At its core, Clarinet Textures helps you easily create new sonic environments using our infinite motion engine and non-static sampling process. This means you can push boundaries and experiment with evolving pads, soundscapes, drones, and pulses in ways you may have never thought possible before. We've made Clarinet Textures compatible with the industry standard free contact player and fully NKS compatible, so you can seamlessly integrate into your workflow. In this video, I'm gonna showcase some of the presets and explore their concepts. So let's dive in. Okay, so we're gonna load the initial patch now. So this is a start from scratch patch. Those of you who are familiar with our engine, you'll notice we have a, a, a new button. We added the invert buttons, the polarity flips on the fine tune knobs. So you can be expecting new updates on all our Infinite Motion Engine libraries very soon. So with correlated, let's load a patch here. So the concept behind correlated is we have the two layer engine and one side is as pure as possible, right? So we don't manipulate the sound too much with the parameters. And the other side it could be either side, left or right. You're going to basically just make them sit in different spaces sonically, right? So the right side here, you'll notice, I'll solo here, right? We're an octave and then if we put this one up on the left so you have two different sounds and the crossfade is going to morph between both of them so let's check this one out And now we're going to go through some of the infinite pads. These are more, much more experimental. I'm going to start with the Astrid Clouds infinite pad.
So you'll notice that these these uh, samples, we use our non-static sampling technique here. So you're going to notice the takes are as long as our clarinetist can hold them. And, they, and it's a performance where it's constantly changing. So no note is exactly the same. And no note is exactly the same length. So you're going to get this kind of ever-evolving feeling of of kind of infinity you know it's gonna have that feeling of infinity to it um so it's really great for creating ambient beds and just really great atmospheres and it just creates a lot of nuance and, a, and a, like a lot of surprises you may not expect when you start experimenting What you can do with this engine, really, there really is a balanced potential. You're only limited to um, what you can come up with. There's so many ways to implement by MIDI learning um, specific parameters with your MIDI controller and modulating that and flying that in as well. So we do a lot of that on the multi patches, which we're going to get into. We'll do a couple more of the infinite pads and then we'll go into the last two. Now, the way something like this is created is, if you notice, we have the resonation really high on the low pass filter, right? And we modulate the cutoff here. So we've turned the cutoff on, the LFO on for the cutoff. And we have it at a very, it's very, the rate is pretty slow. It's at 0.10 hertz, um, how it's going to move. Um, and we set this 22% of the depth on the master, right? And we inverted it here. 
So you'll see it's going to go very slow, and it gives it that you can hear those that reverb picking up that resonation as it slowly sweeps through the uh, frequencies, and it really creates this beautiful ambient kind of overtones. So that's what's giving it that effect. So as it as it goes down, you see. Really just beautiful. So you see we're using a sawtooth LFO and it's it just kind of it it's a ramp LFO so it'll ramp up and then snap back so that's giving it that effect where you hear that little popping kind of expression there Really cool
So you'll see here, sync buttons on. So this will sync up to your DOS tempo. We have, it's really, it's controlling the pitch here, which is really cool. And we're, we're flipping the invert. Uh, we're putting the polarity flip on here. And uh, this, there's a lot going on. On the on the effects section too, you can hear the reverb. We have um, delay, uh, which is giving a really cool effect while it goes through the different pitches like that. Uh, it's going basically an octave left and right. And this is, you know, going from standard to an octave up, and this is going between an octave above and an octave below. So it creates this really cool effect with the um, square wave. And that delay really adds something so unique. get some really ominous stuff too with this what's happening here is you notice the on the right layer we have the um, fine tune not going really slow and that pitch is changing creating some really cool stuff So you can see the infinite pads, they're very experimental. Um, and you have that ability to do that with this engine. Uh, you can go really pure, really minimal with the clarinet, as you hear in some of the examples. Um, and you can really go really far into, you know, abstract textures and things like that. So it's a very versatile engine. Now we're gonna go to the pulses. This is pretty self-explanatory. We'll show you how we kind of use these, but feel free to experiment. There's a lot you can do with this. That's really cool. So next up is the, uh, the swells. We utilize the ADSR. So you'll see same concept here where let's pick something. Breath no vibrato swells. So our attack is high and our decay with no sustain.
Let's do the multiphonics. This is pretty cool. So with multiphonics, you know, you can only play so many notes with this, but we made it available on the whole octave range of the clarinet. And I think it, we created, it's really great for um, just adding a little something that you might not expect. Let's do more. The vocalize is pretty cool too. Our dimensions are just basically another way of phrasing our single layer patches. So it's everything that's in the library, just in a single layer, just so you have it. It's just here, just very basic. That's all our source material, every articulation right here. Now we're going to get to the multis. Let's start with uh, a nautical night's sleep. What's happening here is like you can really just write a whole cue with just a couple of patches within one instance. It just has such a cinematic quality to it. I mean, you can't even tell it's a clarinet. Um, it's been altered so much, which is really, really cool. The possibilities are really boundless with this engine. The really saturated part you're hearing is the uh, distortion modulating up. So you'll notice on the bottom patch here, as it goes up, this is what you're getting at. Right? And then the delay really kind of comes in when it gets higher. Yeah, this is something you can definitely hear in a thriller or horror film.
So this one has a slow evolution. You can hear it kind of open up. It just feels like it's changing forever, you know? It just, that's the feeling here. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your support. Please like, subscribe, and ding that bell notification if you don't want to miss our next video. And please let us know what you think in the comments. See you on the next one.